Hello everyone and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11. If I say the word suicide, what comes to mind? Well, there's a lot more to it than what you would probably initially think about it. And Lisa Marie Janaka is here to talk about a special walk that's coming up. In fact, it's the largest walk in the country it coming is. up in Virginia Beach. It is. It's September 12th and it's actually the sixth year that it's the largest walk in the country. I, I want to say 8,200 plus people last year. Civilians and military has been very supportive, so it's a, it's a huge walk. What's the goal? Why are, why are we doing this? Um, to remember the, lost, the ones that we've lost. I lost my husband in 2003 and to educate about suicide and depression. It's a day of awareness and a day of remembrance as well. And a day of hope, you would not think so, but a day of hope as well. I think, I would think that it, there's a lot of support that goes into something like this. For people that maybe have <coughs> contemplated themselves or that have lost someone to know they're not alone. There's a lot of people out there that they can talk to and get help and things like that. There is, and at the walk itself, there are, um, I want to say, 20 plus uh, mental health um, professionals, people, professionals there to help and to go through if you're feeling like or you know somebody that's feeling like or you know somebody that's suffering from depression. There's lots of um, staff there to help you. Now, we were chatting a little bit before we came on, and I had to ashamedly admit that my thoughts on it before I was educated was coward's way out. There's something you can do. Change your mindset. Depression is real. It is a disease. Sometimes it takes an awful lot to combat it. So there's signs, and there's things that people need to look for. Talk a little bit about that. There are signs. There um, actually is, at, for the walk on the back of their flyer, there's a uh, list of all the signs of uh, suicide, or all the... Um, signs of depression mm -hmm. um, and had I known this 2003 I missed a lot of those signs I didn't know those signs so uh, there's a lot of things that that are helpful on the back of that flyer and you mm -hmm. can get those at Farm Fresh, Chick-fil-A, um, Starbucks they're all supporting this walk as well and they have flyers in their stores. Now I <laughs> we covered the event last year we did a feature for it and the cameraman and reporter both thanked me for assigning them that job. It is something that has affected a lot of people and it's, a, it's what, the number 10 most popular death in the United States, is that correct? It is, it's number 10. There are 42,000 approximately suicides each year. They say that there are six um, people affected by each suicide. I have five children, we are six just us. And mm -hmm. I know for us, it affected my staff, it affected my friends, and of course affected all of my family and my husband's family. So I think the number is much larger of how many are affected each year. And I really truly believe it touches many more families than people realize. And if there's been a suicide in a family, it raises the risk factor for others, is that right? It does, we're at a five time higher risk of um, suicide as well. So one of the things that we saw in our feature last year were smiles. You know, the mayor's talking, there's different people that are saying there is hope. And I think the support system, and then when you see the military involved, local celebrities involved, what, what does that day feel like? If someone wants to come out, they're on the fence thinking about it. For me, over the last 10 years, because I've been involved every year today, this year's our 10th year, um, it's changed a little bit each year, but it's, very, it's a very hard day. It's a very stressful day, but it's a wonderful day to be able to say your person's name out loud, to hear it read out loud, to talk to other people who are in the same boat that you are in and f know exactly how you feel and what you've gone through. Um, but also that we're doing something positive to educate the public and Hampton Roads is huge and 8,000 people is a lot of people to get the word out. Where's it going to be? It's at Mount Trashmore. Okay, so it starts there. What time? Uh, I believe registration starts at 8.30. Mm -hmm. The, the um, actual, I can't think of, ceremony starts at 9.30. Okay, okay. And we only have a minute left, but um, do you find that this is something that people just don't talk about or they think they shouldn't talk about? Oh, I definitely think they shouldn't talk about it. I talk about it a lot because I think that that's my job. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information that I have. Um, but I have found over the last 13 years that I've known people for 20, 30 years who have never said to me that they've had a suicide. And when I say to them, this is the walk and this is why we go and here's a flyer about it, they will say to me, oh, my brother, my uncle, my son. And I'm shocked that I've never known that and I've known them for 
many, many years. So this is a way that we can share information and let people know that it's important to step up. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. And we want to invite you out. Look at, at the website for more information. This is an important cause. For Cox 11, I'm Kevin Hornsby.